Scorpio, welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. I hope that you enjoyed the speed shuffle for your convenience so we can jump right into the reading. All right, let's look and see. We have Aspen Spirit, Courage, the number three. Courage is required in love at this time. We also see the Secret Spring Success. Scorpio, look at that beautiful card. Look at that. The Fairy of Success, I love it. All right, it's very spiritual energy. And we have Expansion, Spirit of Guardian, Guardian of the Summer. So we do have a lot of growth coming up for you in relationship. The overall energy of your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions is looking at things from a different perspective, the hanged man. So right now, they're in a very sort of Cirque du Soleil, I'm chill, I'm cool, I really want to understand Scorpio really well, and um, I, you know, overall it's a good energy. So let's see why they're in this energy of looking at things from a different perspective, two of swords. They feel very much as though there's something that they don't see currently. So your person is searching, sort of doing an inner search for what it is that they think is going on with you. Princess of Cups, your person wants to make an offer, but they want to think this through. Okay, so when we look at their thoughts about you, their thoughts are that you're very sexy, that you're very much a leader, you have this very strong energy, you have a lot of pride, you have a lot of success behind you, you're a very courageous person, Scorpio. They do think you're secretive. Well, hello! Scorpio is the eighth house of secrets, life, death, and all that is very serious. We do see that your person sometimes does not really understand what you're keeping secret. So when we get the Three of Cups for your person, we see someone who wants to be a best friend, somebody who wants to be a lover, somebody who wants to have a very serious relationship with you. So let's look and see what the clarifiers are. Why do they see you as the King of Wands? Energy, proud, courageous, fiery judgment. You're a person who makes decisions very quickly, very accurately, with a lot of finesse. Judgment card is your card, Scorpio. That is the card of karma. You do not, you do not suffer fools. So why do we have the seven of swords here? The four of cups. They fear and they think that when you don't talk to them or you're harboring secrets, that you may be bored with them. So let's see what else we have about that card of boredom. What is it? Okay, the queen of cups. So your person's all in. They are all in. When they think of you, they're like, Scorpio is the one I love. The queen of cups is complimentary to the king of cups. They feel as though you are a divine partner. And they, you know, you might be dealing with another Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. We see this person is not going to take action, though. When they think of you, they think of loving you. They don't really understand a lot about you, hence... Again, you know, looking at things from a different perspective. Why do we have the Three of Cups for the way they think about you? The uh, <laughs> Seven of Cups. They're, your person fantasizes about you. They seem to not really understand or they don't seem to know you very well right now. When we get the Seven of Cups, they think you may be keeping your options open, that you may not be choosing them actively. But the Princess of Wands, they do think that you are a person who throws caution to the wind. They feel as though you're very enthusiastic when you choose to be. And we see the Eight of Pentacles. So they do see you as someone who's willing to work on a relationship, but at your on your own terms. That's what I'm seeing. That you're your own person and you're not going to re really let anybody dictate to you. And you're going to keep your thoughts to yourself until you have something major to say to them. So let's see, in terms of their heart space, they are <laughs> they're in this very inquisitive mode. So in their heart space, they, they love you. The King of Cups is love. That is your energy, Scorpio. We also see the World card. They feel as though you could be, in their heart space, the person that they spend the rest of their life with. That they want this very successful 
um, relationship with you in which there is finality, you know, that you're the last person that they create a new relationship with. The world card, they think the world of you. They feel in their heart space that you are the best, most intriguing, interesting person, most successful, most joyful that they've ever been with. And they do study you on social media because they are seeking answers. This strength card, beautiful energy, that's fiery energy in their heart space. They can match your courage they can match your fiery nature this person has a big heart they're very loyal they're very faithful and they want something to last through eternity this is the infinity symbol number eight all right so what do we have here for the king of cups the king of wands and we saw the king of wands here so when they think of you they think of you as passionate and sexy and in their heart space they are matching your energy they love you very deeply they feel this incredible desire to protect, to almost, you know, Leo always kinds of kind of wants to possess people. And so what they do fear, though, they do have a major fear here with this Four of Cups card. Oh, excuse me. Uh, they do have a major fear uh, in terms of, and it was up here, I apologize. I dropped this card out. But the Seven of Cups energy was they fear and they're waiting to see if you're attached to anybody else. They have a big fear that the Three of Swords is here. So we got the Four of Cups here, the Seven of Swords. So this energy says that they are in love with you. They feel as though you're deserving of that love, but they do fear that you are not choosing them. So let's see why we have the World card here for their heart space. We have... The Emperor card. This person is a person who knows what they want. They're very successful in their own right. They are going to make an offer of love. They do love you very deeply. We now have cards that are extremely powerful for love with the Strength card, the Scorpio King, the Judgment card, and we have this beautiful Knight of Cups with this, you know, Emperor card. This person knows what they want. In terms of their intentions with you, well, they intend to choose you. The Three of Wands, they they feel as though they've manifested, manifested you. And it's Mercury Retrograde. <laughs> I can't always speak so well this month or at this time. But the Three of Wands, they're looking, They their intention is to win your heart. Their intention is to manifest you. They're the Emperor. You're their Empress. You know, you're the Scorpio King. They're the um, Cancer Queen and the Scorpio King combined. They're matching your energy with this beautiful King of Wands energy and strength card. It's incredible. The connection for you should be one in which, you know, this person is really bringing their all. They're bringing their A game plus 10. So we see this person is planning on a future with you. It's their intention to have a future with you. It's their intention to manifest you. The Two of Coins, though, says that they also intend to watch you very carefully and not appear as though they're watching you. So their intention is to pretend not to be looking. Of course, they are with the Page of Swords. But they intend to pretend not to be looking at you to see if you are juggling them with somebody else, okay? So their intention with the Two of Coins is the Hermit card to stay, you know, keep their own counsel, to, you know, search for the answers within, their intuition, their guidance from spirit, because this person wants a victory with you. So if, the, if you're juggling them, they would depart. I will say that. They will take no action if they feel as though they're being juggled. We have the material. Okay, so we have the nine of coins. So your person's very single, very successful, uh, very desirable to the opposite sex or the same sex or however, however that goes. But it shows that your person is single, ready to mingle. They really love you, but this is a very proud person, very fiery. They will move away from you for a new beginning if they feel as though they're being juggled, okay? So you've met your match. Scorpio, you have met your match. I love this energy for you. The, the overall, um, the their actions are very much that if they discover and they know very intuitively, they can read you very well. If they discover that they are in a third-party situation 
and that you are what they deem, you know, a player, that they will make a head over heart decision and that will be it. They would cut you out of their life with, and they really, really would not tell you or explain a lot to you. So when we look at the defeat card, which is a five of swords, is clarifying the three of swords. They would take their defeat um, and they would accept it. The queen of pentacles, they would treat it as the truth that it is. They would be very practical, very down to earth with that information. So that is the core feature that I see here is that your person will defend themselves. They will make sure that you're on the same page with them, that you want the same thing with them, uh, or else they would leave you. The Ace of Swords, a lot of clarity. So again, if the truth be told that you are a player, or they're in a situation where you're not dating them exclusively, it shows this King of Swords, which is like a surgeon, benignly and, you know, in a very healing manner, cutting you out of their life. The Six of Cups is all about the pleasure principle. It's all about um, a reunion, you know, making things work, spending time together. But they're very, very clear in what they want. As deeply in love as they are, your person will not lose their intellectual capacity to discern if you love them back in the same way that they love you. So I see someone who is waiting with bated breath to find out the truth of the matter, but you're dealing with somebody very powerful and very much your equal. They might even transcend your own abilities in terms of career and some other factors. That's not really what's important, but you are dealing with somebody who is a very high caliber person with a lot to offer on the table. So Scorpio, that is your reading, your thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions reading. Sending you love from Chicago. I hope you join me in another video. Let me know if you like the format. Tell me where you're from. Thanks so much. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.